Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is... <laughs> okay, hi everyone. My name is Ebi Weyime and welcome back to the Menstrual Health channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about UTIs, that is urinary tract infections. As you can see from the title, I tried a home remedy and yeah, the results are not so good. So let's start. Um, first things first, what's a, what's a UTI? So UTI is, or a urinary tract infection, uh, it's an infection in any part of your urinary system, your kidneys, uterus, bladder, and urethra. Most infections involve the lower urinary tract, the bladder, and the urethra. However, serious consequences may occur if a UTI spreads to your kidneys. So the last time I had a UTI was in 2011 and I remember it very specifically to September because I had just moved to Cape Town and it was my first time to get a UTI. I had no idea what it was, but I went to just a GP. I got some antibiotics and that was that. So last month, just a week before Easter, I just, I started noticing that my pee, my pee, like I, I had a very... At first, I didn't even notice the pee. I thought my vagina had a very strong smell, you know, like I just felt, to me, it was okay because I just felt like it's, it's my woman's smell. It's my womanly smell. It's, it's who I am. It's who defines me, you know. But then a few days later, I realized, oh, it's actually not my vagina. It's my pee. My pee kind of smells differently. And this time, the smell was even stronger. The pee was yellower, like deep deep yellow as if you hadn't drank water in in years if that's possible <laughs> but but that's how but that's how it's it smelled it was really strong and then later on like if i could describe the smell of the of the of the pee it was it was almost like dead fish yeah sorry sorry if i ruined fish for you but that's how it smelled it smelled like dead fish and then later on i started scratching especially in the evening i'll just be like itching i'll just be itching it was really anyway <laughs> it was really uh it was really scratchy like it was really itchy and i just i did not like it so i was like well what's happening i i, I knew i started thinking it's bv bv for those who don't know is bacterial virginosis and if i'm just to read the description of it so bv is a disease of the vagina caused by excess growth of bacteria common symptoms include vaginal discharge that often smells like fish mm -hmm. The discharge is usually white or gray in color. Burning with urine, burning with urine, with urination may occur, but itching is uncommon. So I had the itching. I also did have discharge. And when I'm talking about discharge, I'm not talking about the kind of discharge that you get, um, like when you're ovulating. You know, ladies, when you're ovulating, there's a little bit of discharge that comes out. No big deal. Mine was not like that. Mine was just floods of discharge and at first it was clear then it started becoming creamish creamish and then started becoming grayish and when it got to grayish the fish smell came back and it was bad it was really like it was just it was the worst smell ever and like i'd smell my panties i'm like okay what the hell is happening this is not this is not because of ovulation something is definitely going on so me being the 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 person i am <laughs> i went online to go look for uh for solutions because i thought it's bv so with bv usually because of bacterial infection with a good diet usually it goes away nothing nothing comes out of it but sometimes it can get serious so i went online to look for um uh, home remedies <laughs> home remedies because one i did not have insurance so i wasn't i wasn't about to spend a lot of money to a, on a doctor if I can fix this myself. So at that point, I already knew because because I did not have um, because I had itching, but BV does not have itching. I was like, okay, this is definitely a UTI, especially when the discharge was like grayish in color. So um, went online, and then the first remedy that all the websites uh, recommended was apple cider, cider vinegar in some water, and then it just soak your vagina basically you soak your vagina in it and then it just kills all the bacteria <sighs> because of my desperation i decided oh well that's what i was gonna do what <laughs> the fire that my vagina went <laughs> that 
my vagina experience is just something else. I just got some apple cider um, mixed in some water and just soaked my vagina in it in a in a bathtub, and it was so bad. I cannot. <sighs> I cannot describe the kind of fire that my vagina went through. They, they recommended about five minutes. I think I stayed there for like maybe, I don't even think it was a minute. I was like, no, Jesus, no, I cannot handle this. This was just too much. I couldn't. But to be honest, after that, um, the, 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 the itchiness went away. The discharge was still there, but the itchiness went away for, for maybe a few hours. So after that, the next day, I remember waking up, going for my workout, and my body was just so weak. Like, I couldn't even last 10 minutes on the treadmill. I remember even my, my instructor came over and was like, yo, Abby, are you fine? Like, today you're just you're so lazy. And I was like, yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling a bit lazy. I don't know why. Then I also noticed that I started cramping on my left side. And later on, I came to realize that that was actually um, serious. When you start cramping, it means that the infection is now getting into your kidneys, which is not good. But at that point, I did not know. So <laughs> went back home, looked for option number two for home remedies. So they'd said you get some yogurt, um, put it into a tampon and then insert it up your vagina. So yeah, that's what I did. I took a tampon, put some yogurt, sha, inserted it. And then it, it wasn't really um, uh, painful or anything, but it was just uncomfortable knowing that, knowing that you have uh, yogurt in a tampon inside your vagina. That was, mm, it was just disgusting, to be honest. So after a while, I took it out and God, the fish smell that came out of that, it was just, it's a miracle I'm not dead. Honestly, that's what I can say. It's a miracle. The smell could have killed me. How I did not die, I don't know. The smell was so, so bad. But then immediately after that, I felt like an urgent need to pee. I just, like, I had to pee right there and then. So I rushed to the bathroom to pee. And it was just two drops came out. Only two drops came out. But God, getting those two drops out, it was fire. fire. There was, there was hell fire in my vagina like there was just something else going on it was so hot my pee felt so hot i felt like scratching i felt like someone was cutting me up with a razor i felt like there was a flame like a huge flame just underneath my vagina it was so bad at that point i started crying i was like okay i and now i know i am sick now i know i am sick and i know something is a hundred percent wrong and I, I should start seeing the doctor. So I went, um, I, I went back, I went back to my room to go lie down. And even before I got there, I felt the need to pee again. And I knew that was definitely a UTI because that's how UTIs are. The symptoms of UTI are usually one of them. I'm going to read some of them, but the, usually one of them is you feel like peeing like every two minutes. You've literally just peed. You get to your desk or to whatever and you feel like peeing there again. You, you go to the toilet and it's like one or two drops and it's so painful. Peeing is so painful. Like I hear people with STIs and stuff. That's what they go through. Jesus Christ. Let me never get an STI because I don't know. I don't know how I can ever survive. Like with the UTI, you you basically have to deal with that situation. Your life will not go, will not go on. You will not deal with anything else until you handle that UTI. Like it's so demanding you cannot do anything with your life until you go see a doctor or you you get well not a home remedy because clearly those ones were not working so uh i started crying every time i'd go to pee i'd get like a really cold towel and just place it on my vagina because i know i'm not really peeing it's just two, one or two drops but you feel the urge to to release your bladder you know so i take the two drops and have like the wet towel on my vagina just to keep it cold because it gets really really hot and really burning so at that time it was easter it was on a sunday it was easter sunday it's at 7 p.m anyone who knows cape town you know everywhere is closed and i don't have money to go to the emergency room if, if i could i would have gone to like uh, ideally i would have gone to a clinic so i'm thinking Ooh, I'm not, I'm definitely not spending the night here because I live alone. So I'm definitely not going to spend the night here alone. I need to go, I need to see someone. I need some medication. I knew I needed antibiotics because that's, that's the only thing that clears, 
sorry, that clears a UTI. So I decided, let me just go to the waterfront. The waterfront is a mall. It's like this huge mall and there's, there's, there's pharmacies there. So I knew I, I, one of them, one of them will, will be open and, and I'll get medication. So I got Uber, went straight, <laughs> went straight to the waterfront. The first pharmacy that I saw, I just went in. And then I told the guy, hey, I have UTI, I need antibiotics. That's all I said. Then the guy's like, oh, um, I'm sorry, we cannot give antibiotics without a prescription. I'm like, I know, but everywhere is closed right now. Where can I get a prescription? Like, I was so desperate. I was like, I was going to spend millions if I had to, but this has to be fixed today, you know? So he also looked at me and he knew, obviously, no clinic is open at this point. Plus, it's a holiday. So he just looked at me again and he's like, um, I don't know. So I looked at him and was like, I'm really, I'm in pain. I'm in serious pain. I don't know what to do. What can I do? So he looked at me again. He's like, how do you know it's a UTI? I'm like, I have everything. Discharge, itching, smell, pain, everything. Everything that you get with UTI, I have it. Then I was like, I've had UTI before. So I know it's definitely UTI. So he just looked at me. He was this really nice gay guy. So <laughs> he looks at me. Then he's like, okay goes and gets me the antibiotics and he's like uh, yeah just take it for the next three days and you're gonna be fine so like thank you i just got the water i just bought the water there as well i just had to take the very first one inside the pharmacy like i could not even get back home without taking it so i took it got uber back home on the way i just started feeling like like my panties were wet like something things are coming out. I knew it was discharge, but this time it, it felt like a lot of discharge. Thank God I was wearing black jeans because it looked like I, I had wet myself. Then I got home, took it off, and then I looked at, at my panties and it was the discharge. Because you know the antibiotics, especially when you're getting to a serious level, it works really fast. Really, I don't even know why I didn't get this medication in the first place. This home remedy was just a waste of time. But when I when I took my panties off, the discharge was very... Now, it was a different kind of discharge because, of course, with the medication, because now it's clearing all the bacteria and all the stuff that's inside there. And this time it was very, um, the discharge, the best way I can describe it, it was like cottage cheese. Again, sorry. Now I've ruined fish for you. I've ruined cottage cheese. <laughs> but <laughs> it is what it is. But it looked exactly like cottage cheese. It was like the discharge was just like in lumps. It was just lumps and it was creamy and yes the fish smell was still there but i was just happy that things are now finally getting out and i'm finally taking care of my system so back to the symptoms of uti let me just read it here so if you have um so if you have a burning feeling when you urinate definitely a uti uh, a frequent or intense urge to urinate even though little comes out when you do that's another sign. Uh, pain or pressure in your in your back or lower abdomen. I had mine on the side that I had some, and it wasn't like a cramping pain. It was just just some other. I can't even describe the feeling. It's just just a really sharp pain on my side. And then uh, the other one is cloudy, dark, bloody, or strange smelling urine. Mm, that is like number one for me. Then there's feeling tired or shaky. Yes, at the gym I felt that. Then fever or, or chills. But then in bracket it says, this is a sign of infection and it means that it has reached your kidneys. So girls, even before you get to that point where it has reached your kidneys, please, please, please stop with the home remedies. Don't be cheap. Don't be like me. Don't get your apple cider. Don't get your yogurt in, in a tampon. Don't do any of that. Antibiotics are not that expensive. I know you're going to have to spend to go see um, to go see a pharmacist or to go see a doctor to write your prescription. But the moment you start getting these signs, the earlier you do it, the better. Because it doesn't go away. It just keeps growing and getting worse. And the moment it gets to your kidneys and to your uterus, it gets really, really bad. So um, that's it. That's the video for today. If you've ever experienced a UTI. Oh, also the other thing about causes of UTI, they're varied. There's so many causes for UTI. Sometimes it could be the, um, most of the times they talk about ladies who wear G-string because the moment you wear, and I wear a lot, lots of those, but the moment you wear a G-string, during the day as you take it off to go pee and everything, the string does not sit in the same position. And as you know, ladies, you have three holes. You have your peeing hole, you have your vagina, and you have your anus. So the moment you sit, the dirt that was on your anus, it could move to your um, 
to your pee hole or to your which is the urethra or it could move from the vagina to the urethra and the urethra is very very sensitive so anything it just it just takes it it just grabs it and that anything could be something um uh dangerous or something not good and that's why uh they say one in two women have to experience uti so uti is a very common thing it's not something to be ashamed of but it's something that you can definitely just get antibiotics and get um rid of it also it can be uh, during sex they usually advise the moment to just have sex pee immediately because it takes out it takes out all the um, uh, all the bacteria that could have possibly gotten into during sexual intercourse actually when i read that part i was like god now I have UTI and I didn't even get laid. Like how how unfair can the world be? Like I would rather seriously though, serious talk, I would rather get a UTI from sex because I'd be suffering but then I'm like but that was some bomb ass dick though. <laughs> you know, it's worth it. But getting a UTI and you didn't even get laid, what's the point? Seriously, what is the point? Anyways, back to my um, other causes of UTI. Like I said, they're very varied. Uh, sometimes it can even just be uh, diet, just poor diet and not drinking enough water. That could cause it. So you can't really, um, unless you know exactly where you got it from, I, I'm still trying to narrow it down, still trying to think where the hell did I did I get it from? It could be anything. But I, like I said, I wear thongs a lot, so that could be one of it. Though it's... It's crazy because I've been wearing it for years and I didn't get it. Anyways, uh, um, that's that's it. Now I'm just bubbling. That's it. That's the video for today. And if you've had UTI or exper you've experienced BV, that's um, bacterial vaginosis, which I think most, most women have because it usually just goes away by itself. Uh, you can leave it down in the comment section below and let us know your story. And see you next week. Kwaheri.